Do you know who I am? No, I don't. My name is Raymond Reddington. I'm a criminal and a fugitive. I'm wanted in every country on Earth and at the top of the FBI's most wanted list. I'm armed and I'm dangerous. And the most important person in the world to me is dead because of you. Because of your little device. Do you recognize it? It was recovered from a former FBI agent named Elizabeth Keene. I don't know who that is. Perhaps not. But you do know something. Someone wanted you hidden so that I wouldn't discover what that is. You designed this. Yes, yeah, it's a medication monitor and I'm tracking. I'm past what it is and what it does. It clearly wasn't made in a manufacturing plant. No, it's a prototype. My wife suffers from mental illness and I designed it for people like her. You gave it to someone. Someone who used it to track and murder Elizabeth Key. Murder? Tell me who. Dude, you've got it wrong. I gave that to a cop. A police officer? Yeah. I met him at a business forum. You know, where people who are trying to start companies set up booths to discuss their concepts. I was trying to find investors. You were supposed to run a trial at a psychiatric clinic. That got canceled. And I was getting desperate. And then this guy shows up, introduces himself as a detective from New York City. He says that he thinks that my idea has potential, but not for medical reasons, but as a tracking device. He says the NYPD might be interested in trying it out for a few investigations. Did he show you identification? Yeah, he had a badge and everything. Reggie Cole, de Detective Reginald Cole. And I thought, hey, it's not what I want, but if the cops support my company, that's something. So you gave this to him? That was a few years ago, and then I didn't hear from him, so I just figured the top brass didn't bite. That's the God's honest truth. If it is, you'll be in class by this time tomorrow. If it's not, you won't. I don't bite, unless you ever utter my name, in which case I'll gut you like a fish and feed you to the lobsters. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night. Bless you, Hetty. Call me when you know more. I'm loyal to principle, not country. And the first principle I'm loyal to is loyalty. Do I have yours? In the old days, drug cocktails were decidedly more appealing. Worse than Moscow at this time of year? At any time of year? I'm not an errand boy. I won't be ordered about. As I was saying. You weren't saying. You were raining all over my parade. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Harold. I'll get you a cane to remember me by. I told you I would handle the Harrison Burke, and I will do just that. What you need to do is keep your mouth shut, your head down, and assure Moscow that the situation is under control. Now please, go away, my friend. I'm decidedly more uncivil. I have to say, I'm finding it hard to resist a chest button at this moment. I mean, if you can't say check, then it's a dime like this. Checkmate. Ah, uh, second opinion, just what I need. What do you think? Funyuns or Fritos? Drop them and raise your hands. If it helps, the Fritos are fun size. Goblins are rather cocky, eh? A godlike Anglo-Saxon that gets cockier and cockier. <laughs> I'm just saying that there are important matters to discuss. Well, for starters, Your Honor has really considered the issue of bail. You have been a federal fugitive for nearly three decades. The FBI's number one most wanted. You are the textbook definition of a flight risk and a danger to the community. Let me be clear. Even if you were prepared to submit every last dollar in circulation on the planet, I still wouldn't grant you bail. Ever. Okay. I for one feel better knowing it was considered. It's called the blacklist. That sounds exciting. That's why we're all here, of course. My wish list. The list I've been cultivating for over 20 years. Politicians, mobsters, hackers, spies. We have our own list. Agent wrestler. Please. 
We all know your top ten is a little more than a publicity campaign. It's a popularity contest. Yeah. I'm talking about the criminals who matter. The ones you can't find because you don't even know they exist. So my name is Small Fish. Yeah. And if you want the whales on my list, you have to be my man. I never sleep in the same location more than two nights in a row. I want a fully encrypted 8mm tag embedded in my neck, not that garbage from Alpha Chip you stuck in my shoulder. I want my own security. I compiled a list of five acceptable applicants. Pick two. Whatever I tell you falls under an immunity package that I negotiate Power myself. And, and finally, and the most important way, I speak only hour hour. with Elizabeth Everybody's running, but It'll I be done, Mom. But, but I won't be the one to do it. But I don't know Out of respect for our history, I'm going to give you what you never gave Elizabeth. The chance to leave this world in whatever way you choose. The chance to make it painless. To put your affairs in order and say goodbye to those who would grieve your passing. And if I refuse? Then you and I will get the answer to a question I've been asking myself since the night Elizabeth died. What will I do to the person responsible? How dark is the blackness at the center of this hole in my heart? I'm not sure I really want to know that, Marvin. But if need be, we'll find out together. You may not pull the trigger, Raymond. But if I die, it's because you killed me. I devoted everything to you, to your vision, to what I thought was our vision. A life of crime with a common purpose, to help keep the world from slipping into the kind of evil we know humans are capable of. I thought we were together in this. We were. No, Raymond, because to me, it was the most important thing. But to you, it wasn't. I am so proud of what we built, Raymond. It's what I lived for. But in the end, I realized it was never really my life at all.